What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at NG Models October 2021 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off this October 2021 release video for NG Models, we have three Southwest 737-700s. Uh, two of them are in the Canyon Blue, uh, those being the top and bottom ones except the bottom one has a blue nose which is the only difference and it's in canyon blue and then the other one is in their uh new well not really new but uh their heart livery because the maryland one was obviously repainted into the heart livery now all the registrations on these aircraft because it is the same livery and same aircraft registration is november 214 whiskey november and 214 wm all of them are scale 1 to 400 and all of them have a price of 46 dollars and 99 cents continuing down the line we have this United 737-900ER. Now, this is one of those releases which I kind of feel like NG rushed to get out because I don't know why they just didn't use the time, make the time to create the clip art for this aircraft rather than just putting a picture up, but that's beyond me. But uh, yeah, this United 737-900ER is in the Evo blue livery. Registration is November 38417. Scale 1 to 400 and the price is $46.99. Continuing down the line, we have two Korean Air 747 SPs. Uh, the only difference between uh, the normal livery one and the uh, other Korean Air 747 SP is this little sticker for the Korean World Cup. And these are different registrations. The one with the Korean World Cup has a registration Hotel Lima 7457. While the other one of the normal Korean Air 747 SP paint scheme uh, has a different registration of Hotel Lima 7456. But uh, yeah, both of these models are 1 to 400 and the price is $57.99. Continuing down the line, we have a United 757-200. This is in their Evo blue livery. Uh, it looks really, really nice. So, I mean, props to UNG. But, uh, yeah, registration is November 48127. Scales 1 to 400. And the price is $46.99. Moving on down the line, we have an Aer Lingus A330-300. This is in their delivery livery, which rhymes ironically but uh yeah it looks pretty nice it's better than uh definitely better than Aer Lingus's zero white a330 livery that they have now but uh yeah registration on this is echo india sierra hotel november eishn this go one to 400 and the price is 55.99 continuing down the line we have a french b a350 900 this looks really really nice and uh I definitely would like to get this, but yeah, registration is Foxtrot Hotel Romeo Echo Victor, F-H-R-E-V. It is scale 1 to 400, the price is $57.99. Continuing down the line, we have an all Nippon Airways L-1011-1 TriStar. Uh, this is going to be good for those of you who are retro collectors, especially in Asia, but uh, yeah, registration on this is Juliet Alpha 8501. It is scale 1 to 400, and the price is $55.99. Continuing down the line, we have two Tupolev Tu-204s, uh, but the first one, uh, which is in the Russian government livery, is a Tu-204-300, uh, and the other one, which is in a DHL cargo livery, is a Tu-204-100. Now, the only difference between these two is maybe... I don't know, on the actual 1 to 400 model, the only difference is going to be maybe like a few centimeters uh, of difference. But uh, yeah, the registration on the Russian Air Force one is Romeo Alpha 64057, RA64057. And the DHL registration is Romeo Alpha 64024. But uh, yeah, both of them are scale 1 to 400 and their prices are 46.99. Continuing down the line, we have... Two out of three 1 to 200 models for this release here. Uh, the first one is an Independence Air CRJ 200ER. Of course, I don't need this for Newark and the airline went bankrupt, so obviously, I don't think a lot of collectors who do modern airports are going to buy this. But uh, yeah, registration is number 620 Bravo Romeo and 620BR. It is scale 1 to 200, and the price is $68, as well as $68 for this Gulfstream G550 for uh, the. Hellenic Air Force, which for some reason you can really zoom into, uh, but uh, yeah, registration on the Hellenic Air Force is 678 for the G550. Continuing down the line, we have two China Eastern A350 900s. The first one is in a normal livery, which registration is Bravo 304 November, B304N, and for some reason we're back to using jet photos uh come on ng like come on you can't really you really can't generate clip art anyway uh yeah uh 
both of these are scale 1 to 400, so while uh, the normal delivery is Bravo 304 November, uh, the one in the first A350 delivered from China one is obviously a uh, different registration, and that uh, registration is Bravo 323 Hotel B323H, and this little sticker is only different. And of course, we're back to jet photos. Uh, but uh, yeah, both of these are scale 1 to 400, and their prices are 57.99. Continuing down the line, we have a China Southern 737-800 in the Zhuhai City of Youth. Registration is Bravo 1700B1700. It is scale 1 to 400, and the price is $46.99. Continuing down the line, we have a CAAC, pretty much the Chinese equivalent of the Air Force, uh, 747 SP. Registration is Bravo 2442B2442. It is scale 1 to 400, and the price is $57.99. Continuing down the line, we have a Sichuan Airlines A330-300 in their Chang Hong CS livery. It looks pretty nice, and I'm pretty sure from what it looks like on the aircraft, it's advertising China's space agency. But uh, yeah, registration is Bravo 5960B5960. It is... what? One... I think this is a mistake. Uh, 1 to 125 scale? That That's... I don't know... wait... That's that's weird. One to one twenty five scale. I think that's an error, which is supposed to be one to four hundred. But uh, yeah, and the price is fifty five dollars, so I think it is an error, and I think it is actually one to four hundred. But uh, yeah, continuing on to the last TU two hundred four of this release, we have an Air China Cargo TU two hundred four TU two hundred four dash one hundred. Registration is Bravo two eight seven one. It is scale one to four hundred, and the price is forty six ninety nine. Continuing down the line, we have two Jian Y20s. The first one is an Airshow China livery one with the tail number 20047. Uh, and the other one is, of course, another Jian Y20, except it's in their low visibility livery with the tail number 11158. Both of these are scale 1 to 400, and both of the prices on these models are $55.99. Continuing down the line, we have three comac arj 21s but the first two are in scale one to four hundred this one is uh the registration on this one is bravo 3328 b 3328 scale one to four hundred the price is 46.99 while on the other comac arj 21 and one to four hundred scale it is uh i think this is supposed to be their business jet livery registration is bravo 001 x-ray b 001 x both of the prices on these arj 21s and one to four hundred are 46.99 Moving on to the last model of this release, we have this Comac ARJ 21B. Uh, this is, I believe, supposed to stand, the B, I believe, is supposed to stand for a business jet, and it's the same one as in 1 to 400, with the same exact registration, except it's in 1 to 200, and the price is $72. Now, probably the only models that I would get from this release are definitely the United 737-900, but I'd probably only get one of these because I'd rather prefer to get one of these in the Evo Blue and one of these in the uh, Continental Livery should uh, NG models release it because obviously uh, not many 739s are painted in the Evo Blue. But uh, yeah, moving on, uh, the only other mo two models that I would get would maybe be the United 752 uh, because they're not as common in Newark and I already have one, but I'm definitely going to get the uh, French B as this exact registration, Foxtrot Hotel Romeo Echo Victor is flying to Newark right now. I'll actually link in the description of Flight Radar 24 uh, of this registration aircraft as proof. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting the United 739s, the United 739, probably only getting one of them and just the French B 5900. But I, th I think I'm going to sit out this release on the United 752. But uh, yeah, that being said, let's conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Subscribe my videos and comment down below what you guys are getting from this release. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.